I've been practicing biodynamic farming for almost 20 years. And um, every year I learn something new about it. I think biodynamic farming means different things to a lot of practitioners and a lot of people. To me, it means um, having a diversified farm, having a mix of um, components like livestock, crops, pasture, hay, etc., fruit crops, so that all these things are working together to contribute to um, the whole, which uh, in our case, we're growing vegetables for um, almost 200 families in a community supported ag project. And we need quite a bit of uh, compost to um, put back into the soil to grow that amount of vegetables on the six acres that we grow on. So we have just the amount of livestock, just the right balance of um, animals to provide for the fertility for the soil. We're striving for sustainability. The community is very supportive of um, the farm and us uh, practicing biodynamic agriculture. I think that people are more aware of the importance of sustainable agriculture and that their choices really make a difference in terms of um, the quality of the food production and um, looking after the earth. Community supported agriculture is um, uh, a model of distribution of the vegetables, um, but it's much more than just a model of distribution. It involves the whole community in, in the um, farming experience. And the, actually the people, um, they, uh, people sign up for the vegetables at the beginning of the season. So they sign up for 24 weeks worth of vegetables. And so we as the farmers know how many people to uh, produce vegetables for and they um, pay up front, which allows us to purchase the seeds and the necessary um, items that we need to start the year. And um, so it's, it's a model of uh, the community and the farmer working together. Um, well, we started off small. We looked to the response of the community. The community was very supportive. And with the support of the community, we were able to um, increase our production and it just seemed as we were ready to um, increase production we would be offered more land to rent um, and we rent several properties in the area and people continue to um, offer us land because they see what we're doing here really makes a difference. Um, one can see that the biodynamics actually increases the fertility of the soil and people taste the vegetables and they taste something different there. We receive excellent feedback um, and that's really what sustains us mm -hmm. and keeps us going. Um, because farming is not always an easy endeavor and um, just the satisfaction of harvesting a beautiful product and then putting it out and having families come with children and picking them up, it's just um, what keeps us going for the most part, I think. We grow quite a diversity of products. Um, at one point, we had about 45 different crops in the ground um, last spring, and which is great because uh, if one crop fails, we always have two or three crops that are quite abundant and pick up for that. Um, to decide what to grow, we usually try and have a mix of roots, uh, leaf, leafy crops and uh, fruiting crops and um, some flowering crops like broccoli and cauliflower um, and tubers too. And we also have to plan that we have six to ten different crops coming on each week mm -hmm. throughout the season. Well, the apprentice program is a program where um, new and young farmers um, are uh, applied to the farm and are selected by us to um, have an apprenticeship here at the farm and they learn all aspects of farming. Um, we are farm, farming it requires a lot of work and um, a big skill level so one needs to be trained in order to farm well. 
Well, it's important to us because we're providing the opportunity uh, for young and new farmers to learn about farming. And here we're really farming. It's just hands-on uh, market gardens, um, learning, they learn how to distribute, they learn all aspects of farming. And uh, here they um, can practice the skills over and over. So when they leave, they could actually um, have enough skill level to set up a farm on their own. And that's really important to us because we're doing this now, but we want this to continue into the future. The nice thing about farming, it involves so many different aspects of, um, and, and requires so many different skills that I've had to learn over the last 20 years. So it demands a lot of creativity and um, um, invention, and it's just always new and fresh. I'm always having to learn something, and I'm always learning something. Uh, just working outside in the natural world, it's, there's just so much to uh, gain. I love to work. <laughs> and so we're living on a farm, you can work, you can do, there's so much to be done. And it, like John said, it's creative work, it's um, inspiring work. But I think my favorite part is that um, I get to share this with John and we work together really well. And um, it's just wonderful to be able to share this um, with John and really um, see things grow so beautifully. I always say start small and um, then expand on what you do best um, gradually. Well, my advice would be to a new farmer, young farmer, is uh, to be um, positive, very positive, and to see the good in what's happening and to really just do the work and not get overwhelmed by the work, but do it and have fun doing the work.